Thank you for choosing Appliancevideo.com. In this video, we will replace the oven igniter. The oven igniter is most commonly used in many Whirlpool, Maytag, Amana, and Roper ranges and ovens. Our experts give this repair a level two skill rating. Level two being basic and can be performed by most non-professionals using common tools. The average time for completion of this repair is 20 minutes. Appliancevideo.com advises you to take caution while performing this repair. During this video, you will see caution icons appear on the screen. Such icons include sharp edges, electrical dangers, gas and fire hazards, lifting hazards, water damage, and delicate components. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. A number two Phillips head screwdriver. Stop. Before you begin this repair, make sure the appliance is unplugged from the wall outlet and the gas is turned off. Step one, removing the oven igniter. Let's begin this repair by opening the oven door. To gain access to the oven igniter, we will need to remove the main base. Release the main base from the two tabs on the back oven wall by lifting up the front of the base and then take it out to remove. Next, we'll remove the two screws in the oven burner bracket holding the igniter in place. Using your number two Phillips head screwdriver, remove the left and right screws by turning them counterclockwise. With the igniter unsecured, disconnect its wiring harness by pressing in the two side tabs and pull upward to remove. Step two, replacing the oven igniter. Now that you have a new oven igniter from appliancevideo.com, let's replace it. Plug in the igniter's wiring harness to the terminal in the back oven wall, locking it into place. Next, place and align the igniter's bracket to the corresponding holes in the oven burner bracket. Using your number two Phillips head screwdriver, Reinstall the left and right screws by turning them clockwise until snug. With the igniter now secured, remember to tuck the wires into the oven valve support. To finish this repair, align the two points on the main base to the two tabs in the back of the oven and set it down. You can now close the oven door. Now, reconnect your appliance to the wall outlet and turn the gas back on. Congratulations, you have successfully completed this repair. Thank you for choosing appliancevideo.com.